Hey y'all, today I'm gonna show you how to blow dry your hair, but more specifically, how to round brush your hair and give yourself an at-home blowout so that you have plenty of volume. Let's get started. Step one, wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner. Step two, brush your hair before you apply product. I usually use a wide tooth comb. Step three, apply product. Now I'm not gonna go into my favorite products within this tutorial because I wanna focus on techniques. I'll do another blog post on which products I like to use. So I've let my hair dry a little bit and my hair's naturally curly so you can see my natural curls coming out. The next step is to section it so that we can blow dry it. So I use these clips from Dry Bar but you could also just use a ponytail um, to separate your hair into sections. Now we are gonna use a blow dryer. You wanna make sure your blow dryer has a nozzle and round brushes. You don't want it to be like right up on there because that'll burn your hair. You just kind of want it to be like touching the bristles. And I know some people like it to be further away, but I find that it works better when it's closer. Let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to lay some groundwork and define the two skills or techniques that I'll be using throughout the video. I wanted to give them a name so it'd be easy to reference them. I want to name the first technique the roly poly because you're basically rolling the brush through your fingers so that you can blow dry the same piece of hair multiple times. I will admit it's much easier to do this technique with shorter hair, but it can still be done with longer hair. Okay, I'm starting here, wrapping my hair around like that so it's close to the root. And then if you have longer hair or longer than mine, which my hair's not very long, I'm kind of like pulling it out a little bit, but you want to make sure there's enough tension, right? Okay, so I have the brush upside down and I'm using my dominant hand to hold the blow dryer. And then what I'm doing is I'm blow drying this section, pulling it out and then spinning it back in. I think that's what I do when my hair is longer, but I'm not sure. <laughs> The next trick I want to show you is something I like to call the middle finger regrab. Basically, you're taking your middle finger from the hand that's holding the blow dryer, which is your dominant hand, and you're using your middle finger to regrab the hair so that you can rewrap it around the round brush to go through it multiple times. So I've mentioned this before, but your top section is your most important. Okay, it's too wet, so I'm just gonna dry it a little bit more. My arms are getting tired. This is definitely a workout. Okay, now that we got it kind of dry, now we're gonna go in and Got my hair cut yesterday. Oh, and it's really short. It's being difficult. All right, so this is a challenge. It's like kind of crazy. I 
don't think my hair has ever been this short. Okay, so now that it's dry, <laughs> now that it's dry, we're gonna put some product in it. I'm always switching up the product that I put in it, but today I'm gonna use this, the IP Volume and Powder by Kerastase to give it some texture, and my hair like really needs to calm down. So I know it can be a pain to spend all that time round brushing your hair, but it really does make a huge difference in that you don't even really have to style it once you've round brushed it. It feels like it's taking more time, but if you think about it, it's actually better in the long run. So I hope you found that helpful, and comment below if you have any suggestions for other videos. <laughs>